good morning to our friends from Europe. Uh, hello, friends from uh, India. Thank you so much, Sri Sinaji, for honoring us uh, with your presence, Mr. Jitani Ji. Both of you who have been always encouraging us to look deeper into the topic. It's a niche market. It's a it's a small market worldwide, but it's an interesting uh, topic and uh, was encouraging to listen to Mr. Max Tromsov. I will just give a short introduction with some uh, photos from all over the world, what's happening right now. And then we are going to focus a little bit more on India and uh, later on our friends uh, from India and Germany will dig deeper into the different technologies. Yeah, co-location of agriculture and solar PV, that is the topic of today. Uh, mainly the new power plants you find if you look on Twitter under the hashtag AgroPV. Uh, this is where we actually find uh, new power plants uh, 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 mostly. Nature Research recently, the link is uh, here on the right side, uh, published a paper with uh, astonishing news. Tomato yield was twice as high, pepper three times higher. So uh, very positive news. But on the other hand, I saw our friends from Bloomberg also joining. There is also critical voices. Bloomberg New Energy Finance uh, visited some plants in China. And as you might see here, uh, there is sometimes agriculture in between, but not underneath. So um, it can be a win-win, but uh, it doesn't need to be. Uh, we are talking about the topic which is different from BV pumps. So this is very important. Uh, for the people to understand when we talk about agro PV, it's agriculture and PV, but uh, it's different from PV pumps. It's also different from PV rooftop. We have beautiful uh, uh, installations here in India, for example, a one megawatt peak chicken uh, farm rooftop in, in, in Karnataka or Moza Bear already doing uh, greenhouses in Italy. Uh, would be nice to also have five megawatt peak uh, greenhouses by Moza Bear being done in India. Looking forward to it. Um, that is also greenhouse, but that might be already considered as agro PV because it is uh, co-located. Uh, that's another picture here from Netherlands. Uh, beautiful. Uh, Sri Zinaji, he mentioned uh, bifacial and uh, glass glass modules. Uh, this is beautiful. You see, uh, this is the same plant. They're using a glass glass module so that uh, the light can also uh, go through. Um, this one, uh, I guess, uh, Max, you will show also again what is it all about. We can have 100% alu, for example. We can have 100% solar. Or maybe we can increase the yield of potato and uh, compromise a little bit on the solar. No? Uh, that is the whole idea behind. Or maybe we get 80% wheat and 80% uh, uh, solar. Still, the max, uh, output uh, is, uh, is maximized. No? We can talk about these plants. I think Max will uh, show us in uh, Europe or Germany. We have visited them also uh, from uh, IGEF. Uh, this is a model plant, not quite large scale yet, but yes, actually since 2011, you see here a two megawatt plant in Italy. There definitely the agriculture uh, is more important than the solar, but yes, there's solar. Uh, then an 800 kilowatt peak uh, tracker system here in Italy also. Uh, uh, Mr. Max Tünker is here, uh, uh, Sascha Krause Tünker. This is a four megawatt uh, peak plant. I, I think we are going to see some photos. Interesting that they're using vertical PV, bifacial vertical PV, as Sri Synergy mentioned. Uh, interesting concept. Then there is uh, larger plants also for uh, 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 crop and dynamic agri photovoltaics in, in, in France. I think these are uh, uh, apple trees. Yeah? Um, uh, company Sunar. This is a uh, 10 years old plant, or maybe it's like seven years. Yeah, seven years, uh, it's 2013. It's in France also, it's only 50 kilowatt peak, but beautiful. They're using these uh, large wood structures and then having uh, the solar panels on top. No, This is a lot more sophisticated, a lot more steel that might be not the right solution for India, but yes, these things are happening worldwide. Then there's uh, simpler systems for uh, uh, rice harvesting. No? This is uh, here a system in Japan uh, uh, using uh, mainly uh, bars from uh, uh, construction. 
Uh, there's a large system here, 700 megawatt peak. It's the largest tracking agro PV system worldwide uh, implemented by Huawei in China. In China. Uh, they're not having agriculture uh, 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 all year long, but some months they are planting all seed plants and uh, getting uh, benefit out of these uh, uh, dry soils. No? So this is another photo where they don't have agriculture, but uh, uh, I think three to four months they're doing the agriculture. Approximately 1,000 plants, it said, uh, have been already installed in Japan with a size of uh, yeah between 10 kilowatt peak and uh, 100 uh, uh, megawatt uh, peak. Um, Japan, China, this is where we are talking about land constraints and where they came up with uh, special schemes to uh, actually push this market segment. No? So beautiful smaller plants in the kilowatt range. How about India? I think everybody uh, uh, who is a little bit familiar with the, the topic has heard about Kochi Airport. 12 megawatt peak. This is uh, interspace agriculture being done, so it's not below the solar panels, but in between um, uh, all farming interspace. No? So, yeah, uh, one can say, okay, maybe this is 20% of the land used for agriculture, but definitely not uh, more, than, uh, more than 50. Same, uh, Abalon was mentioned by uh, uh, Sri Pranav Metaji, uh, National Solar Energy Federation of India. Yes, they're doing interspace. Interspace, but they're not doing below. No, And you see, if you go a little bit uh, wider and behind, you see, okay, they're, they're not having agriculture at the, at the other end of the solar plant. So it's just like in the front line. No? Um, some farming below, I think this is bottle curd, they're, they're growing here below the solar panels but it's not large scale farming. This is a system from 2013 in India, Jain Irrigation pioneered and uh, did the first research. Uh, but for some reason they, uh, even they had drip, drip irrigation, beautiful plant, but for some reason they decided to finally build a road. So again, uh, they decided against uh, agriculture here. So they maintain the solar panels to, uh, to uh, use the pumps, no? But yes, there is experience in India. This is a, a banana plant, no? so uh, a 14 kilowatt peak, uh, same Jane irrigation. Uh, Kazri, we are going to have the presentation uh, of uh, our friend Dr. Sandraji. Thank you so much, sir, for being here with us today. They made lots of experiences also, no? and they also experienced, for example, here on the left side, you see, even though they left uh, uh, solar panels out so that the light can go through, but the farmer, if the farmer is not willing to put plants below, then this remains unused land. No? I think uh, now next phase, uh, higher structures are being thought of um, very interesting. I think the most innovative thing which we have ever seen here in terms of agro PV was that Kazri and there we will see uh, some more uh, inputs uh, is using the, the cleaning water and the rainwater uh, in a gutter system. No? Beautiful idea. Yeah. If we know how much water goes actually into the cleaning of the solar panels, um, beautiful idea here implemented. Uh, rainwater harvesting system. Have never seen something like that uh, before, uh, even in a large scale. So this is a, uh, I think this is one lakh liter uh, they're having here in this uh, uh, rainwater tank. Amazing. We were amazed when we saw that. Um, professionally, larger scale plants, uh, one of the first ones, 2017 here, implemented by Harsha Bakos. Um, Prime Minister Moody himself was uh, behind it. Um, one megawatt peak here by uh, Sikha district, Jamanagar, Gujarat. Uh, very interesting concept also with the drip irrigation, higher elevated structure. Uh, with the manual um, uh, tilting system. Uh, here you can see the drip irrigation uh, uh, lines implemented. But yes, manual tilting of PV modules. So this is how many persons here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, 11 persons to manually tilt the system. Is this something we would like to see in a 5 megawatt plant? Maybe, maybe not. No, so. Yeah, one has to see what are the advantages and disadvantages of these systems. No, 
Um, here another one, in total four one megawatt plants have been uh, installed in India yet uh, already uh, uh, with this kind of uh, design. But yes, no. if we talk about agriculture, uh, do we leave trees in between, no? uh, which could shade the solar panels? Does this make sense? But yes, beautiful if drip irrigation is implemented. Uh, I think one of the most beautiful plants, which is actually really doing uh, agriculture uh, successfully, uh, also below, is the uh, Amrol plant. I think National Solar Energy Federation of India, Pulipakaji, uh, Mr. Mehta, you were visiting this plant. Uh, beautiful plant. Uh, you see agriculture is being implemented, different uh, uh, designs are being implemented with different shading effects. Uh, so there is a lot of knowledge, uh, thanks to uh, GIPCL, who has uh, taken this up, and uh, 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 the University uh, of uh, Anand Krishi. But yes, same issue here. You see the tractor, he is not below the solar panels. No? So if you want to go in with hard machinery, in between, no issue. But below this uh, uh, escape no, would uh, actually hit the solar panels. So again, no, um, yeah, do we install plants where people manually uh, can uh, work uh, underneath or do we really want heavy machinery and then do we need to adapt the design? No? Uh, if it's manually like here, okay, issue, no issue. No? It's uh, easily possible, but that we need to know in advance which kind of plants uh, we are going to have there and if we are able to do uh, everything manually. No? This is a beautiful testing uh, plant at NICE. Uh, this is more like, I guess, to see if plants would grow below. So yes, there's also experience here close to Delhi. This is the latest uh, development, the 200 kilowatt peak plant uh, in Agra um, with the tracker system and also uh, glass glass. So the light can go through. Um, yeah, wind load might be an issue. No, you see these are large uh, uh, surfaces, so uh, one would have to see. But yes, beautiful uh, glass glass modules here being deployed. This is one of the most beautiful uh, small size uh, agri uh, PV plants here in India. I think uh, Professor Chauhan, you are also uh, uh, in today's webinar. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, beautiful design. You see the seal structure is being used to actually uh, hold the tomato plants up here. Uh, uh, it looks like wind load will never be an issue with this plant. Uh, beautiful plant, drip irrigation being implemented. So we are really humbled that there is these, I would say, worldwide best of uh, world class uh, experiences in India already. Um, if you see down below the name of Professor Chauhan, there's a link so you can access uh, actually his scientific papers also to get to know more. Uh, about this plant. The latest development also mentioned by Sri Pranav Metaji was uh, is the project of Sustan, 200 kilowatt peak. Um, uh, this is, I think it's lemongrass no? uh, being planted here. I have also seen photos where the lemongrass is higher already. So uh, yes, it's possible and uh, India is uh, starting uh, to implement. How about cleaning? That's a big issue in India, right? So we know these photos, we know that the cleaning is an issue. Solar panels would need to be cleaned. So one thing is to uh, do it like Avalon. But what do you do if the systems are higher? If the systems are higher, one solution could be the one uh, Dr. Vicky Jane, who is also participating in today's webinar, has implemented at the Amity Grounds. Uh, uh, but yes, uh, is it feasible to do that on a big scale to have the uh, to have the uh, tubes being installed for the water system and have people maybe manually turn on and off the taps to clean it? Uh, this is how it's being done large scale. I mean, that's not a secret. I mean, we know that this is the way solar panels are being cleaned in India. No. So uh, if we talk about agriculture in large scale power plants, we would need to make sure that these uh, tractors with a water tank can go in between. And that would mean that if the structures are elevated, we made this nice animation here, that the tractor has to go maybe underneath the solar panels or even if it's in between, 
a person would need to be maybe secured on top of the water tank with a cage. And we need to select plants which are not growing that high because only then the tractor can actually go above. No? Um, that would be maybe a solution in India, we would say Jugar, no? but uh, yeah, why not? I mean, it's cheap, it's possible to implement, it seems to be possible, no? or doing it even pro more professionally and implementing a uh, dry cleaning system. No? Uh, I think Ecopia is now already having deployed in India going towards the gigawatt scale. So there is business cases, uh, large professional developers are using dry cleaning systems already. Um, yeah, why not? That could be something. No? Some points for discussion, I, uh, I'm already running over time, so uh, I'll just pass it. Uh, you might be able to download the presentation uh, afterwards. I think colleagues are leaving a link uh, in the comment section where you can download it. But yes, there's many topics that need to be touched. And uh, I think the following speakers, Dr. Ma uh, Tromsdorf and uh, also Dr. Santra uh, there and Mr. Tunker, they're going to touch these kind of issues. So if you want to need, need want to know more about this topic, just follow the hashtag uh, uh, AgroFV. Really interesting to see what's going on there. And yes, this is a photo from the future. It's Photoshop. It's a plant from Germany merged with uh, agriculture being done in, uh, in India. So thanks to Fraunhofer who, who made uh, this uh, photo uh, of the future. But yes, uh, uh, we are confident that uh, with bifacial modules and glass glass modules uh, getting cheaper and also now being manufactured in uh, India that we will see a lot more of these kind of solutions. And we are really excited to see that MNIE is pushing for these kind of topics. Uh, Kusum scheme is already allowing uh, half megawatt to two megawatt plants being constructed on agricultural land. Uh, this makes it possible. So the ministry is aware of, uh, of the special uh, need uh, for these kind of systems. And yes, with this I will end. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to the presentations of uh, our professional speakers.